Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianni or Briani if you don't already know me. If you, you wonder why I say Brianni or Briani, it's because people will say my name both ways and I don't really care. And there's no correct way to say it because my parents say it in Spanish. So, but welcome back to my channel. Today I have one of like probably my most requested videos from people who know me is a sneaker collection video. I honestly don't have that many shoes. Well, I have a lot of shoes. I'm not gonna say I, I have a little bit of shoes, but I do. I don't have as many as people who have like big sneaker collections. I have about 25 pairs, 20, something like that. Not all my shoes are in this video. I'm just wearing like my sneakers. But you know what they say, quality over quantity. You know what I mean? I think I have a good collection. Like I don't have like the most hype shoes, but I do have pretty like, you know, cute little hype shoes. I'm gonna just get into it cause we gotta get through this. I think I'm gonna start on this side and then work my way this way. So I'm gonna start with my most recent purchase, which is my Unions. My Union collab. These are the Noirs. I got these off go, I believe. I don't remember how. I, like, less than a month ago. Probably the only pair of fours, I think, in this collection, other than my black cats. And those were really, my sister gave those to me so um, i love the tongue and you can like rip it up i want to get the the white version of those but until then we're going to you know look at what we got then i also got these i think a month ago two months ago i got them in like june and it's about to be august by the time y'all see this it's august these are my travis um what are they called black phantom okay these come with two other laces they come with like a black and white lace and a red lace and these are like wax laces but i like these so much i love black shoes i love black me and black just go together like this these are my only pair of john scott's i want a different pair i would either want the reverse mochas or i want the what are they called wow what they called the blue ones you know what i'm talking about i want those honestly if i could have every pair of the Travis Scott's and the ones i'd be the happiest person the earth. these aren't really my next pair aren't really okay if these start coming down please mind your business because my shoes are usually by my door over there and sometimes we'll leave the cases open and we'll open the door or close it and goodbye these aren't shoes but they're easy so i consider them sneakers or like sneaker ish like they deserve to be in the video these are my yeezy boots i got them literally at the end of spring so i have worn them like twice because in new york spring is a little bit cold still but not enough to wear freaking snow boots but these are the desert sand ones i'm pretty sure in a size five these do run really small i had to take the soles out of them because they run that small usually I like wearing thick socks so that's why they don't fit me that well all my shoes are either a five a five and a half or a four it just depends what shoe where i'm getting it how i'm getting it i did probably like one of the first hype shoes i bought i'm pretty sure i bought these my my freshman year of high school these are my workout shoes i wear these to play softball i wear these to anywhere but you know outside but these are my only pair of 350s and i'm glad they are I don't have anything against Yeezy, it's just you fit these specifically, I don't like them anymore. So I just use them to work out. But, yeah, these are cooked to the ground, like you can see. I wear these anywhere and anywhere that I have to run. Now, these are also, my next shoe is my only pair of designer shoes. And probably my last, my only pair I will ever own, because I don't really like designer shoes like that sneakers designer sneakers i could get behind a designer heel a designer sandal but sneakers is like questionable to me my ricks and these are i'm pretty sure they're vintage ricks because they come with this stamp on them i got these off grailed they were authenticated off of grailed i'm pretty sure i got these back i think i got these like two years ago i got these my junior year of high school at the beginning of my junior year and like the stitching is coming apart like it's bad because these are cooked because they were already used to when i bought them they were used i didn't buy these brand new everything i've showed you before i got these brand new i love them they're just really uncomfortable 
I feel like that's what everybody says about every designer shoe. They are really uncomfortable. And these are extremely uncomfortable. I don't know if these, yeah, these don't have the soles in them. I think that's why they were so, they were cheaper because they didn't come with soles in them. I got those for like five, like two years ago. Not before the Rick height, but like right when it was starting, you know. My next shoe, I got these back in December when they released, but I didn't get them for release. I got them from one of my reseller friends because I wanted them that bad. I literally went after work and they dropped them off for me. And these are probably one of my favorite shoes now. I wear them with the white or the black laces. Either way, they're so good. I like the details on them. These are the Lost, lost and Found, like, re-edition. Like, these are the newer version. And I love them. They're just classics. And they look so good. These. Okay. This is story behind these. I wanted these so bad when they dropped. Like, I was on everywhere. I was on Kiff. I was on sneakers. I was everywhere looking for these shoes. And... This is the woman's pair, like it comes with the like, I think this is a UCLA pair, it comes with the yellow detail, and then literally four months later, they dropped the regular pair with the white in men's sizes, and I was like, I could have saved myself like $200. Mind you, I bought these right after they released for $400, and I think they're like two something now. So, these went down. <laughs> These kind of go in my outfit right now, but I don't wear these as much because I did. I was fiending for them, and I got them a size down. I don't, for the way I wanted these so freaking bad, it wasn't, I don't get the, the wear I need out of it. Because I don't really wear colors. It's like, I wear like four colors, white, black, and red, not even red. What color do I wear? I wear gray a lot. That's the spectrum that I'm on, so everything else goes with that except I wear beiges a lot, which is why I wear these. These are my beaters. These are actually considered like this is bad. Like it has this breaking apart. Like I don't, you can't even see how dirty they are, but they're freaking dirty as hell. Look at the bottom of the shoe. These are the orange pearls. Something pearl. I know that's what it's called. Like something pearl. And these are women's shoes. Like they came out women's releases. Funny thing is, my I got my mom told me she was like i want to get a pair of sneakers and i was like you're not even gonna wear them she was like what shoes should i get so she bought these and she never wore them so she gave them to me they're also a size half a size bigger than i am like it's just weird like the sizes with dunks is weird that's why all my dunks look different because they're either kids women's or men's sizes this isn't really a, a shoe but it's easy so i'm gonna put it in the video these are my yeezy slides i think these are the this isn't bone, this is like sand, something like that. One of the cream colors, I got them for like less than $200 off of gold. When, I think I got them when I was going to Turks and Caicos to see my godmother. So, I like those. I wear, I don't wear them as much as I used to, because again, that's back when Yeezy had the, Yeezy's new slides run big and these run small, because like they were the, old, the older release. This is the next pair of my shoes. These are Carmine Sixes, the new release. These are not the old edition. And I did get these for retail because I sized down. I this is a four and a half in kids, which is not that bad. I wear five. And I really like these. I don't wear them as much because actually for some reason these don't fit me tight. Like and they're four and a half. Like if I wear like basic socks, not too thick, not too thin. These will fit me fine and not hurt my feet all day, so. It was a good purchase. These are my Midnight Navies. They usually come with, like, rounder laces and these laces, but I put these because I just didn't like the round look. And they don't have, like, the regular tongue as that ones do. They have, like, they don't have, like, a little thing. It's a leather tongue and just a basic stitch on it. I got these off Stock X that even when they released. I think I got these for my birthday. I don't remember. But I do like these. I wear them from time to time. Whenever I'm wearing blue, I'll wear them. These, I think, are my favorite. Well, were my favorite. Are one of my favorite shoes. It goes with a lot if you cover the red. If you cover the red, it goes with everything. I got these back when I worked at Hype Club. It was my first job. And these are, I think, were my pretty much my first pair of Hype shoes. These are my Off-White Fives. And the sale colorway in a size five and a half again because they didn't have a five so 
I like these better than regular fives. They just fit better because everything is thinner. Like the uh, regular five tongue is like huge. I used to have a pair of like the Red Bull fives and I gave them to my cousins because I absolutely hated them after having them for like one year. Um, this is probably one of my favorite dunks. I have too many dunks. I These are my favorite dunks. Probably shouldn't keep buying more dunks but my boyfriend got them for me for valentine's day these are the city market dunks and i love these shoes they're literally so good they go with a lot surprisingly they go with green red whatever you want to wear with these this goes with it so i love these shoes i don't know i like the detailing on them i like shoes not everybody has which is confusing to say because i have hype hyped shoes but i do love these these are cute and they come with this little bag in the pocket which is why i like these shoes like it's just cool as fuck yeah these are these are cute and not that expensive compared to other you know shoes at resale my green shoes kind of sort of these were my first pair of ones when i first started collecting again these are my lucky green well these are women's release these are my size this is a five in women's and I'm not gonna say too much about these. I love these. I got these. I hit on sneakers with these. This is probably the first, you know, sneaker I hit on. But I love these shoes. And they're just so cute. But not too crazy. Now, this is another pair of green shoes. I got these off of Goat, I believe. I don't wear them. I wear them like, like you can tell. I barely wear these shoes. Okay, my next pair is black cats these i did not buy for resale these were technically my sister's shoes that she used to wear to school but she gave them to me because i wore them more than she did and me and my sister wear the same size basically she's a half size bigger than me but these are cooked to the ground we got these for retail out of a freaking like i think it was a house of hoops well she went to foot locker to find these in a four and a half didn't have them then we went to House of Hoops, which was right next to Foot Locker. If you're from New York, you've been to 125th, you know the kids' Foot Locker is right next to the House of Hoops. So they had the literally had the last size. I don't remember if I think they ordered them. They didn't have them in store. We ordered them online a five of five. But these are cooked. Me, me and my sister drag our feet when we walk, so they're uneven, which is just like you can see on a lot of our shoes. <laughs> It's just a shoe. Like I'm not. I'm not gonna clean my. Like this is why some of my shoes are dirty too. They're sh they're meant to be worn. That's the whole point. So I'm not gonna like go crazy over like trying to clean my shoe. It's a shoe. Like these are my only pair of New Balances, but I want another pair. These are the Protection Pack Rain Cloud, and I love these shoes. They look better as you wear them. They are they are dirty. You just can barely tell because of how the shoe is. I love these shoes. I don't, so can't go wrong with cute new balance i did get these off i got these from flight club that's where i got them from. now these are probably one of my favorite threes i was saying a lot because i love my cements but these are the amla manier threes and i have a little store behind these i used to wear these to work a lot these are probably my favorite shoes they have little like design that like the detailing is crazy the inside is satin um and i love these but there's like hints of red around my shoe because i used to work at a sneaker store and we used to spray paint our bags so new york air the wind it would just happen to get on my shoes no matter how far i stood and then i would used to wear these with the white laces and the white laces are red so now i can't wear these and the reason i won't get new white laces is because the white laces say it has like details on the aglet so cute but these are probably i did get these for my birthday i think my thick my 16th birthday my 15th i think i got these for my 15th birthday somebody's hammering next door and i don't want to stop filming so i got these from a foot locker on my 15th birthday i barely wear these too but sometimes i do back these out they're really clean i do like them as a basic little shoe to throw on in the summer we're getting down to the last two pairs and these I got either my freshman I think I got these before my freshman year of high school which was 
five years ago, four years ago, four years ago. And these are my cement threes. These are iconic. I love these. I'm gonna re up on these because they're too small. Got these in a four and a half. Men's threes run small. Well, women's threes run big. These are actually my size and they run, like, they're literally huge. And these are half a size down and they're literally tiny on me. Like, the, I like these so much I took the soles out. And I need to get a new pair, but these are expensive now because they're old and they're retros. I think they came out in 2016. I love these shoes. I just don't have them in my actual size. I need to size up on these. I wear them sometimes when I'm trying to, like, when it goes to my outfit and like <laughs> I don't have anything else to wear but I can't walk around in those for more than like seven hours I do I used to wear them to school but they just hurt my feet and my last and final pair of sneakers is my patent breads that released in December I did get these for retail I remember everybody didn't get them I was like finally sneakers did me some justice Although I didn't get these in the summer, but whatever. These are my pine breads. Eh, they are my size. Um, for some reason, these ones hurt my feet because they're like narrower. I guess it's because of the leather. But you can't go wrong with another Jordan one. I just like these. Nothing much to say about these. These were probably like my first hyped hit. So I like these a lot, but I like those more. <laughs> So that's the end of my sneaker collection, guys. You've seen me wear any shoe, and you're like, why is it in the video? It's either A, my sister's, or that's it. Like, there's literally no other explanation to what it is. It's my sister's. And we wear the same size, so you can't judge me for that. Thank you guys for watching. I'm probably going to be here for the part two because I have a job now, and I have adult money. When I have adult money, it means I spend my all my money on shoes. I literally have a pair on the way. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe. I don't know what else to say. See you guys later. Or the next video, which will be up on Tuesday. Bye, guys. See you later.